The City of Brotherly Love gave us Rocky Balboa, Philly Cheesesteaks, the Philadelphia Phillies, and the Broad Street Bullies, the Philadelphia Flyers. This past weekend, the Broad Street Bullies welcomed in NHL executives, scouts, family members, and new draftees. As the 2014 NHL Draft took place in the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. I'm Andy Alfred, and this is your post-draft show right here on the network of ClayFan23. I am your host, Andy Alfred, coming to you from our studios here in Toledo, Ohio. We had a very interesting draft class this, sat this past weekend in the city of Philadelphia. We had our first round that happened on Friday, and rounds 2 through 8 happened Saturday afternoon. Well, a lot of hostility was brought into the Wells Fargo Center. One, Mr. Gary Batman started the whole situation. When nobody likes you, Gary. on and talking about youth hockey, but you can hear the crowd in the background saying, you suck. And nobody likes Gary Bettman, it's the truth. Nobody, nobody likes Bettman that much. But fast forwarding it a little bit. The Arizona Coyotes have changed Philadelphia from Phoenix to Arizona. Then you heard something very interesting. And to give you a break, let's not wait any longer. The first selection of the 2014 National Hockey League draft belongs to the Florida Panthers. And the Florida Panthers took a very, very interesting approach to to their draft pick. They drawed it out very long for them. They went the full distance of time. And they went with Eric Ebron from Barrier from the OHL. Very solid player. He will be right into the lineup very quickly for this organization. Hypothetically speaking, I'm wearing the powder blue. Could the team be moving to Quebec? Just wait and see. But of course, Philadelphia, of course, Philadelphia had their selection as well too. But we get into some notable draft picks in the first round. First of all, for since I'm in this little market, the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit picked 15th overall in the in the first round of the NHL draft, and they took a player from Ann Arbor, Michigan. He was in the United States Hockey Organization, the USHL. His name is Dylan Larkin. He plays center. He reminds me of a lot like a Darren Helm. Very solid centerman. Very good to, good on both two-way player. It's a very great pickup for them. But then pick 16th went to the Columbus Blue Jackets. My Jackets, who I root for, went in the right direction. Looking for a left winger, that's what the Jackets were looking for. And they picked a good one. They picked Sonny Milano, left winger from the USHL, USH, USH, yeah, USHL, from the USA under 18 team. Played in the same division with Dylan Larkin. Sonny is a very solid player. Very good. Very, very good player. And I could see them plugging him in right away. He is like a Ryan Johansson. And by the way, how's that slap on the face for you, Johansson? Take the money. Uh, but of course, you have Winnipeg in the ninth overall pick, picking Halifax's Nikolai Ernest, a left winger from the QMA JHL. 
Very good player as well, too. 13th pick went to the Washington Capitals. Some notable, This is some notable teams in the first round. Jakob Valerna from Sweden. Left winger and a right winger went 13th overall. Then you get to the... You get to the number eight pick was the Toronto Maple Leafs and went to William Nylander. Name sound familiar to you, folks? Michael Nylander's son. He was from Sweden. He plays either left wing or center, right or center. He's from Monano from the Swedish league. He's not really Swedish. He's Finnish or Czech. Very solid player. But of course, then 22 went to the Pittsburgh Penguins and I went to Kesperin Kapanen. From Finland, a right winger, very solid player. He'll probably be in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton organization for a while as well, too. And then the 20th pick went to the to the uh, to the Chicago Blackhawks. I thought this was a great pickup for them. This is uh, Nicholas Nicholas Smarts from a centerman from the Green Bay Gram Gamblers. Now, what I what we were told from Green Bay's team, it's been a solid team for them, especially with the new head coach here in the city of Toledo for the Toledo Walleye being Derek Leland. Derek is a former coach of this Green Bay team. Derek says this player is a very solid player to look out for for the Chicago Blackhawks organization. And that wrapped up some of the notable picks. Of course, you had Abram picking number one overall as well, too. And then you had a very interesting pick as well, too, in the second round. The second round pick went to Ryan Collins for the Columbus Blue Jackets, another United States under-18 team. He's a defenseman. Very great player as well, too. So we're going to go through some of the teams and round by round what each team got. In round two, like I said, Columbus went and got Ryan Collins, a defenseman, United States under-18 team player. Very solid pickup. Third round, the Jackets went out and got a player by the name of Elvis McKinson, a goaltender from the Swiss Largo. Elvis is a nationwide I think he'll be in the nationwide lineup, and I see him in the in the training camps. I'll see him in the training camps coming up too. In the they had the 77th and 76th pick. Blake Schellnager, Schellnager will go to the defenseman from Niagara from the OHL. He will be picked up by the Jackets too in the 77th round. Fourth round went to Julian Peter, the left winger from Cape Brendelton from the QMJHL, and then you had the fifth round. Here's a high school pick. In the NHL draft was Tyler Bird from a right winger from Kimball United Union High School from New Hampshire. Very solid player as well too. What I've been what I've been told of his play, very solid of Jared Bull. Very solid right winger as well too. And then rounding off of the Jackets in the seventh round, the 197th pick was Oliver LeBlanc, defenseman from St. John, the QMJHL for the Chicago Blackhawks. In the 83rd pick, they picked Madison LeBlanc from Muskegon in the USHL. They went USHL a lot in this draft for the Blackhawks. They went local talent. They went to also got Bruno Starlet, center and a left winger from from uh, South Shore, Princeton South Shore from the USPHL. And then in the fourth round, they went Frederick Olsson, left winger from the Chicago Steel of the USHL as well too. In the fifth round went f for the Blackhawks with Louis Sergal. Defenseman from Maine, from Minnesota, Edwin Pierre, Minnesota High School. Another high school pickup here in the NHL draft. And then they went to Russia after they went to Sweden. Andres Solberg, defenseman from the Swedish League, went fifth overall in the 148th pick. Dylan Sakura, centerman from the OJHL, went in the Sixth round at the 178th pick and the 179th pick went to Ivan Nevrano, goaltender from St. Petersburg, Russia in the Junior League. And then they rounded up at the 208th pick with Jack Ramsey, right winger, Pendleton in the BCHL. For the Detroit Red Wings, this is how they looked up in their draft after the first round. In the third, they did not have a pick in the second round. They gave the second pick up, second round pick for a trade. In the third round, they went to Dominic Turan. Centerman from Portland from the WHL. Very solid player as well, too. Christopher M., center from the Swedish League. And then they went in the fifth round with Thomas Chase Perry, goaltender from the NH NAHL. In the sixth round, they went with Julius Vitano from the Finnish League. He is a left winger from the TPS Junior Division. He also, in the seventh round, it was Alexander Holstrom. Name sound familiar? Holmstrom? 
from the Swedish league. Name sound familiar? Olmstrom. Olmer. Yes, my friends. You're thinking correctly. Seventh round of the 208. First pick. It was to Alexander Kretschem from the Russian League as well, too. That rounded out the Red Wings in their draft picks. Florida, like I said, after the number one pick, went with a kid from named Jaris Hronk, centerman from Brandon, the WHL. They went to, they went to a Finnish guy in the third round. Fourth round, USHL in the under-18 team. They went with Joel Wagler, right winger, very solid player. I think he would have been a great fit with the Columbus Blue Jackets as well, too. During that time frame as well, too. Miguel Fiddler from the Edwin, Minnesota High School. Left winger as well, too. And then they rounded up in the 7th division. 7th round. 182 pick with Hugo. 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 Fagloom. Goaltender. Florida under-18 team in the Swedish League. Pittsburgh, and then in the first, after their Kasprin pick in the first round, did not pick again until the 4th round. They picked Sam Lafferty out of Deerfield High School in Massachusetts. And then in the 5th round, the 145th pick, they picked Anthony Angelo from Omaha in the USHL. USHL provides a lot of players. Used to be a team in Columbus called the Ohio Blue Junior Blue Jackets. And that would have been a great crop for them. Sixth round pick went to Jaron Lendo, right winger from the o Owen Sound of the OHL. And then in the seventh round, it was Jeff Taylor from Union College in New York. Toronto, after their eighth pick by William Nayrider, Naylander, my apologies, went went to the WHL with Rana Valen, defenseman, in the third round, 68th pick. At the 103rd pick, they went John Palak from Youngstown of the USHL. Solid player as well, too, right winger. In the fifth round, they went Dakota Joshua, a centerman from Sioux Falls in the USHL. And then Noah Versley, left winger from Prince South Shore, the USPHL, in the sixth round with the Leafs. And in the seventh round, their final pick, they went Pierre Nevel, left winger for Lunda Jr. out of Sweden. And then rounding it out for you, Winnipeg picked in the, after their ninth pick, went to Jake Glover, 18th round in the U.S. U.S. under 18 team in the USHL. Their 99th, they were the 99th pick in the NHL draft. They went Chase Delano, center Portland of the WHL. They went WHL in this one too. And the, at the 101st pick, they picked Nelson Nogler from Saskatoon, a defenseman of the WHL. In the fifth round, the Winnipeg Jets picked Clarkson, Clarkson Franklin, left winger of the USHL from Sioux Falls. In the sixth round, it was Pavel Kolotsky, centerman, Yuslov, under-21 under team in the Russian junior team. And then in the seventh round, the Winnipeg Jets' last pickup was Matt Lewinsky, center left winger from Langs Langsy in the BCHL. Washington, after their 13th pick by Valerna from Sweden, they went with Vanda Vanacek from the Czech Republic goaltender, 39th pick overall. Then after that, in the third round, they went with the Hershey Bear AHL player. An AHL player? In Hershey? They get a pick of a Hershey Bear. This got me questioning this pick. And I looked into it. He's an unrestricted free agent. They drafted him. Nathan Walker, left winger. Very solid player, straight, straight two-way player for the Winnipeg for the Washington Capitals. Shane Grisker, also in the fifth round in the NHL 2014 draft in Philadelphia, center left winger from the United States eight, under 18 team in the USHL. He was picked at the one at the 134th pick in the sixth round. It was Steven Spinner, right winger for Edwin Prince High School in Minnesota, and then rounding it out. For the Washington Capitals in the seventh round, Kevin Kevin Elgelson, right ringer from Floor Lunda Junior from the junior team in Sweden. And that rounded out some of the notable draft picks. You can go on to the NHL.com website to find your other teams that that picked in the first round. We just gave you a little bit of a sampler as well too. But these players are have a lot to look up to, especially Aaron. He's got a lot. He's got a lot to look up to right now especially with that Florida team, and especially with Sonny. 
Sonic's got to make a strong impact at Nationwide. We all welcome him with open arms here at here at Nation in the Nationwide Arena in Columbus as well too. I hope he can carry the flag as well too. I hope you enjoyed our draft coverage right here on Clay Fan Two Three. All we'll tune in again, and tune into all, some of our other programming here on Clay Fan Two Three. Of course, the popular show All Andy Alfred, as well as other notable s stuff, music stuff as well too as sports stuff as well. So until next draft season, I am Andy Alford. I hope you have a terrific season. Get ready for the off season. It will be a very interesting one to see the least. A lot of free agents, a lot of pickups come up in October. It's right around September. It's right around the corner. So I hope you enjoyed our draft coverage right here on your home for for all Andy Alford. Clay fan two three. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you for another see you for another season of NHL hockey.